Somehow, where are they now? We forgot them somehow. Boy, I'm singing Calypso. When I look at myself, Margot Thomas's teaching career has two forms. For the first 19 years, she served in a classroom and then as an archivist, Mrs. Thomas has protected St. Lucian heritage and educated the public for more than 20 years. I was the president of CARBICA, which is the Caribbean Association of Archivists. I was the first person from the OECS to hold that position. I was able to sit on the executive board of the International Council on Archives. I was the president of the Memory of the World for Latin America and the Caribbean. And again, I was the first person from the Caribbean to sit, you know, as the Czech person. But to crown it all, my greatest achievement is to help the young people of St. Lucia find out about themselves, find out about the people who went before them. It is a joy to help a young child and this has been my inspiration. Everything I do, I do it with the child in mind because the child becomes the adult. Looking back at her more than 40-year career, Mrs. Thomas says very happily she has no regrets. She believes that she has had a fulfilling career and a wonderful family life. She is a wife, a mother of four, and a grandmother. Above all, Mrs. Thomas values the island she calls home. Though she has had many opportunities to live abroad, she says nothing beats this Helen of the West. I want to be most remembered for helping the children. Helping the children learn about themselves. Helping the children appreciate their lives. Helping the children be proud that they are St. Lucians. And this is why I've embarked on a new career of writing. And I've been writing some books and they are for fundraising for the archives. Sing the thing, man. Where are they now? Where are those people who used to be? So popular in my country. Where are they now? We forgot them somehow. Where are they now? We forgot them somehow. Boy, I sing in Calypso. Oh, yeah.